Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to open. We use the uh, channel unboxing knife. We got the Nine Tie EDC utility blade right here. This package comes from G1.com. They are a fidget dealer, and they send me something every month, and I check it out. That's pretty much the deal we have. I have a link, it is down below. It does help the channel. Oh boy, what is going on here? Oh, a flashlight? <laughs> um, that's hilarious. And a cool pouch. Sick. I like this. So basically, the deal we have is I have an affiliate link and I have a discount code, Lefty10. That'll get you 10% off when you go to g1.com and buy shit, okay? You can use my code, Lefty10, or the link, whatever. And they send me a couple things a month. That's the deal. Um, so I get some money when you guys buy shit that I recommend. And uh, I get some fidgets. And, or flashlights in this case. And I'll pass them around. I'll keep them. I'll sell them. I'll do whatever with them. They're mine, right? That's the setup I have with them. I don't know why I'm explaining that right now. But there you go. Um, with that said, I'm always 100% honest. Hopefully you guys know that by now. There's been plenty of stuff in these packages that I have not liked. So let's get into it. This is the Rogue. If you know Mandarin or Chinese, there you go. And let's check this out first. That's pretty cool that there's a flashlight though. I've seen those before. They're like fidget toys with flashlights. Oh, shit. This is not looking promising. We got springs and balls. That's what she said. We got plates, screwdriver, and more plates and magnets. Jesus. Um, and we have a pouch. This is a pretty cool pouch. It has a patch on it that says Rogue. You get some Molly straps or whatever those are. Inside here, you get a, a pocket. I mean, it's pretty cool. Comes with the fidget? I mean... Not too upset about that. I don't know what the hell this thing is, though. This is a dolphin? It's a fucking dolphin, dude. Okay, hold on. <laughs> what is happening? They sent me a dolphin. Um, Where's the... Am I crazy, or is that a goddamn dolphin? Yo. <laughs> this is a mother-flippin' dolphin, guys. Feels like titanium, which is nice. <laughs> what? Why? So right now it's set. Uh, can't believe I'm showing you a dolphin. So I guess you hold it like this. <laughs> it works. Is it a dolphin? It's a dolphin, right? And then you hang it on something. It, it, it weighs way too much for that. But okay. So it looks like you're supposed to. Uh, it's crap. <laughs> can't believe this. All right, let's see if this driver works. So I think you can replace the plates so that you can use magnets instead, which will probably be stronger. I'm going to try that first. It's going to be some shit that pops out of here, yeah. So you have a plate that slides on here and here. Oh, wait, no, there's more. Jesus, okay. So do I have to pop that out too? Or does that stay in there? Because we have this. Right? See this? Hopefully these are just extra magnets. So I just need to figure out where shit goes here. think that would come out right has a little pinhole there I feel like for me to pop it out with something right 
Yep, there we go. Oh, it's just a magnet. Okay. So then you take this one. Nope, I want this one with the magnets. And you pop it in like that. Now I have that one in. And then I want... How do I do this now? What do I do? How do I do this now? Let's see. What else we got? Okay, so these are the three options, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so you can do the small balls. Let me bring this down. Sorry, I was reviewing something bigger. Um, you have the small detent balls and the bigger detent balls. So that's two ways you can do it. Or you have magnets. I want magnets. So maybe I'm just supposed to take a magnet and put it in there. Am I just supposed to... Do I just pop a magnet in like that? Well, that doesn't, it's not tall enough, so. Because how would this work? Right, it needs a plate down there. It needs one of these. Right? And that would need to have magnets on it. I assume, I don't know, how the hell else would it work? Okay, those don't fit. I see, put it in that way, that lines up. I don't know, that must be for a detent ball. So, okay, let's just play along. You would put it in which way, this way? So she said, by the way. Okay, so I think what you do is you put a magnet in here, just one. I'm down here. I think you just put one magnet in like that. That would be it. And then. What's going on here? Is that steel? Maybe? I, don't fucking know. I have no idea what's happening here. So bear with me. Maybe it goes in this way. <laughs> All right. First, let's just figure this out. Which way does this go in? Oh, that goes in there first. And then like that. Okay. It's not doing anything. I don't understand the way you do it with magnets. It just doesn't even add up. Can't do it this way, right? What the heck, man? This is the deal. They never give you instructions, which is very frustrating, by the way. Right, whatever. So, 
Let's just take this out. Because I'm pretty sure I can figure it out the other way around. Put those magnets over there. Get rid of this. So if you take these big detent balls, right? Let me put that one in here. Like that. Right? Now, take this. And we want the bigger ones, which I think are these little plastic guys. No idea how many I would need. I think just two, right? There's two holes there. So, figure out this part. It would go in like this, right? You have a spring. Guess I would need a bigger spring. Yeah, it should be fine. Kind of like that. And then another one. that then you take this you have to get it in there first right oh see that's where the problem comes in it's like how do you so I guess you gotta Right, but this doesn't even slide on, right? Okay, that's right. It has to go. Yeah, how the hell does that work? <sighs> it goes in there, right? So, which way would the springs go? Okay, so you would put the balls in. Where's the other one? Like that. Put the spring on top. Oh, we got two here. Yeesh. Ring on top, so you have balls and springs in, right? And then you gotta figure out how to get it on, I guess. It just doesn't pop on, though, is the problem. Like, you know what I mean? It doesn't slide the on. It's annoying. Oh, wait. So here we go. You have to lift the ass up, then do that. And then I gotta screw one in. Okay. Yeah. Screw the other one in. Not quite sure how you would do this with the magnets, though, but I'm sure there's instructions somewhere or somebody did a video that did it further, but that's how that works. Yeah, it's a little bit stronger. Feels better now. I wouldn't mind figuring out the magnet thing, but I don't know. Maybe just got to put the polarity in right and then, you know, 
probably not as hard as I'm making it out. So there you go, guys. That is the dolphin. Wild ass thing right here. Gotta say. But I like how it comes with this whole kit. I like that they separated shit. You know, uh, usually you just get a bag of stuff and you're like, what is going on? Yeah, that feels good. Not quite sure I would be sold on the design. Being a dolphin. It does have some cool uh, anode tie or whatever that is. You know. Um, but yeah, for like a desk toy or something. Pretty comfortable in the hand and everything. Alright, let's check out this thing. Sorry. This is what happens when I get into fidgets. Alright, so it says open here. Where's the uh, unboxing knife? This is the Manker Light Limited. And there's their address and everything. They're in Guangdong, of course. All right, let's see. All right. All in Chinese. Okay. Guess we're not reading instructions. Oh, the time back three. Oh, look at that. We get a uh, 18350, it looks like. Yep, 3.7 volt, 18350. USB-C rechargeable. That's pretty cool. Okay. We get a charger. This is a pretty wild charger. Nothing else in there, just so you know. You get this wild charger that has USB-C, USB-A, and then another A port. So I guess you could plug this in and then plug something else into it. So it's kind of a bypass. That's pretty cool. All right. More than a tool. So moonlight, 0.1 lumens, low 46, middle 200, high 600, turbo 2500, strobe 2500. And there's your time on each one. Candela. Uh, meters of throw, drop resistance, and IPX rating or IP68 rating. There's some more information. Info at Manker Light. And this is the Time Back 3 Pocket EDC. Whoa, look at this thing, dude. Where's the flashlight? Oh, here. It's a quad. Okay. We get a lanyard. Interesting. This is up my alley. We have uh, an O ring. Okay. So we have some, you know, the basics here. Nice, nice little package though. All right, so first off, how do we get the battery in? So you have a spinner on here, which is wild. A switch here, a switch here, a clip that sits off the scale. This little guy, I'm guessing this is where the battery goes. Unscrew this. Nope. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Let me put... That's the driver in there? Jesus. I am... Okay. We have a switch down here. This is wild, guys. What the fuck? There, hold on. Let me... And figure out what I can grab to tighten, you know? You can't grab here because that spins, right? Maybe it's easier when the head's on. <laughs> uh, okay. And then <laughs> look at this, dude. Whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? You get, you saw that, right? Oh my God, it's magnetic. Okay, it doesn't work. What are these? Are these just fidget things? Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. Different levels of fidget. Click, click. 
spin and ratchety or yeah and then you have a spinner here now i thought maybe this would glow which it still could so let's just see what i screwed up is there a tail nope there's no thing in here let's make sure this is charged Does it have an indicator? For now, I'm just gonna grab another battery to make sure it wasn't that. I'll grab it out of my EDC light. Get this situated, there we go. So today I'm carrying my new Hanko Trident Prism Tie Tremor. It's got this crazy anno on it. Not really my normal aesthetic, but hey, should be the same battery. Just want to see if that's what it was. Yep, dead battery. Okay, so click on, oh my God, look at this shit, dude. What is happening? These are glowing. They do have something going on underneath. I don't love the frosted optic, but okay, so do these do anything? That would have been cool if that switch did something. So I have on and off, and then is it a reverse clicky, just light taps or something? Do I have to hold? Ah, okay. The turbo is, all right, let's try this again. On, turbo, I guess. Triple tap for strobe, strobe. Some kind of lockout maybe? Yeah, look at that. Look at all these wild colors going on. See that? No, it's not working. Four clicks. Dude, this thing is fucking cool. I mean, it's totally not my style, but it is cool as shit. So this is high, I guess. And then this is turbo. Dude, this is fucking wild. And then you can just... I mean, I don't know why that's cool. Like, I don't know what the point of it is. Like, right? Like, what does that do? I can't put it on this way, right? I totally didn't do it the wrong way, did I? Oh. No, it's repulsing it now. Okay, so I did that right. I just don't understand. Like, why is it doing that? Okay. All right. It was right. Just making sure. And then you literally... Just slap it together and twist, and it pops on. And it's a frosted optic, so I don't know how the hell you would get in there to change it. I don't think you could. I guess I could take a flathead. Do we want to try? Let me try. Um, I don't know if this guy will fit in there. I think that's gonna be small enough. I need like a micro. Don't don't make a joke, Kev. Um, let's see, do I have anything that small? Is the question. Can't get that in there. These are all gonna be. I don't think this is going to be strong enough. This will probably bend if I get it in there. Nope. Did it work? Yeah? <laughs> I don't know why 
why I'm doing this. All right. Does this wiggle out? All right. Oh. I think that's a giant screw. Dude, this thing just gets wilder as we go. I don't think I have a driver that big. I mean, that's massive, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you need something to be able to twist in there. All right. Anyway, I don't even have optics for this, so there's really no point. I just thought it was interesting. If I could get it open to show you, I would have, you know. Let's just do this. Put this back on here. See if I can get it to... Nope. Okay. So I gotta drop it in and hope it lands right. There we go. And then just tighten it back down. All right, back to normal-ish. That's just insane, dude. So you get a spinner, you get a little sort of ratchety guy, another spinner, and a clicker. Anything else? Clip, obviously. Switches here. Nope. Would have been really cool if this was a side switch. Right? That would have been sick. And then you have a tail switch. That has a built-in light. And then there's light built-in here, too. Is it on when this is off? It'd be cool if it stayed on, right? If it was like an E-switch. Maybe there's a setting for that. But actually seems like a decent flashlight. I mean, it's not going to have... Uh, it's got a very high temp count. Like, it's probably a 6500K or something, seems like, anyway. Uh, let's see how this battery's doing here. I don't know if that's going to work. It might be protected. Yeah, it's a protected battery. I wonder why it so easily worked with this battery, though. Yeah, it's just not working. I don't know. Maybe you do have to just give it a long charge beforehand. I'll, uh... Grab my extra cable and just let this sit for a while. There's no indicator, which is kind of shitty. But you can get 18650 or 18350 batteries anywhere. So it's like a sleeve in here. Um, you don't really have to worry about that. You can order them on Amazon. Just get these. Obviously, it works. Um, these are Keep Power 18350, 1200 milliamp hour. Um, 3.7 volts, 20 bucks for like two of them. They're not cheap. You can also get them at alum.com, I L L U M N.com, and get some backups. But, um, yeah, obviously this works. So cool. I really like this. So I gotta say, this is the winner here for me, uh, out of the two weird things we got. The dolphin's interesting. If you're just collecting wild ass sliders, sure. Um, but this is actually like a functional flashlight. It's going to get the job done. Um, does it have built in memory? Let's see if it's on memory right now. So that's high cut off. Come back on. Yep. It's on high. Go to moonlight cut off. Come back on. We're on moonlight. So I'll test this out and see how the moonlight is. I like a really low moonlight. Um, it says 
Manker and Teabag. <laughs> That's great. Teabag. Uh, time back three. Serial number 33, 38. Mankerlight.com. This is wild, man. Be cool if it had secondary lights. Doesn't look like it does. If you figured out how to get in there, you could potentially put tritium in there. Um. <laughs> Let me see if I missed anything. Let's see if there's any info here. Then I'll get you guys out of here. It's been a long one. Sorry. So they show that one, that one, that one, and the spinner. That's what we saw. The magnetic top. Uh, just points at the optic. 2,500 lumens, I guess. Tail switch. I don't think I missed anything. I don't think there's any programming you can do with it. But again, you have on and off. And then you have hold for cycling. Man, the switch is interesting. It's like wobbly. You hold to cycle, right, and then let go. It has memory, so on, off, or off, on. It has turbo with a double click, and then it has strobe with a triple click, and then a lockout with four clicks, demonstrated by this pattern here in the, in the tail switch. And then now, can't do anything, just lights up and says, hey, does it stay on? Oh, okay, hang on now. So this is your, um, this is your uh, play feature. If you don't want the light on, but you wanna have the lights on. So this is how some people are gonna store this. They're gonna store this in their case with the light on and everything. Um, no light here, but you get the extra cool lights for the flashy, you know, in your case kind of thing. Trust me, people do that. And then you can click it, turn it off again if you want, on again if you want. And then if you want to unlock it, you just click it four times and then you're back to regular mode. And now I can do my normal stuff. That's pretty cool. So you can't do that though So it will go to turbo from off, strobe from off. Oh, there you go. You can do it. You just hold down. So if you just hold down, it'll, oh wait, no, it's on, shit. Oh, that is ultra moonlight. Hold on a second. See, this is how you learn. It's off. Okay, this is low. Right? But if you want moonlight, you just hold down. And you get crazy-ass moonlight. Look at that. 0.1 lumen. I mean, that is sub-lumen, baby. And you get the light on. Okay, so let me double-check the uh, this feature. Okay, we're now locked. Okay. So now we get the lights on. Nope, that is off. Okay, so there you go. That's a rundown of the Manker Timeback 3. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this. Here's a size comparison to a Hanko <laughs> Trident. Um, this is a custom, flat, very expensive custom flashlight. Um, but it's pretty much the size you see. Is that a scratch, damn it? Um, pretty much the size you see from a tri uh, triple emitter 18350. So this thing is not that much bigger than a normal triple 18350. Definitely not that much bigger than a quad, but you're gonna you're gonna be wider because of the stuff. Let me show you. Here's another quad. I have, this is the DRV4, D, DV, what is it? D4V2 and tie. You can see how much smaller it is. It takes the same battery, right? Um, but the head is as wide because it, for four optics. Now this has dual channel, there's UV and then two, but anyway. 
Um, there you go. Size wise, I know a lot of you guys who would be into this might have this, so that might help you a little bit. Um, and then calipers. I might just do a separate flashlight video on this because I think it's kind of cool, actually. Um, 1.147 inches. Just for reference, this Hanko. 0.991 D4V2. 1.10. And then... There's one other thing I want to point out before I let you go. About three, three and a half inches long. Come on. And then at the tail, we're looking at one inch and with the clip, 1.2. So it does tail stand, which is nice. It tail stands. I like that. Um, the thing I wanted to point out is it does not feel super quality. Um, it does feel solid. It feels built. The, you know, obviously, it's like brass or whatever here. But these parts, I don't know what they are. Aluminum, Cerakoted. Just the nature of a spinner, it's going to have a little rattly feel to it. And then these things, they're just plastic pieces. Right, so it does feel a little cheap in that sense, I gotta say. But it's also very cool. So, you know. Um, it does seem to have a proprietary thing here. Um, I've seen those, it's like a Microtech looking thing. Um, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. They didn't provide the tool in case you ever want to take it apart. But that's it, guys. That's the um, Manker Timeback 3. Really like this. Check it out at G1. And you can get 10% off with Lefty 10. And then check out the Dolphin right here. And if I have my phone, I'll go check, tell you what this Timeback costs because I'm actually curious. G1.com. Let's see. Um, what is it? Manker? It's not on there. Time back. Wow. That's a fancy one in Mokutai. So, zirconium and white tie. So, wait, what do I have? Oh, shit. This is zirk? No. Holy shit, this is Zerk, dude. My bad. I said Cerakoted. Oh, damn, I feel stupid. I said Cerakoted Aluminum. No, this is Blasted Zerk. I just didn't expect that. Dude, that is freaking cool. All right. I immediately take it back. Does not feel cheap. <laughs> I guess it's just the... It has a little rattle because of the, you know. But knowing that that's Zirconium really does make me like this way more. Two ninety nine. They also have Zerk and Red Tie. Only one left. This one's in stock. They have Moku Tie and Gold Tie. Dude, I mean, four hundred bucks is not bad for Moku Tie. If you get one of these in Moku Tie, you're talking three grand easy. I know that's totally different, but Zerk and White Tie. Uh, so two ninety nine is basically your base price on these. And knowing that it's Zerk, I think that's fine. $3.99 for Mokume, and then Zerkutai and Black and Tai. Oh, wow, that's sexy. $4.60. That is sexy, though. Damn, they got some good looking shit. All right, so $300 is your starting point on this. So, you know, that's going to change a lot of people's opinion. And I thought it was going to be like $150, be aluminum, but totally fair price with Zerk on there. And then this is titanium. So I'm cool with that. But um, I don't think I would necessarily run out and buy it just because it's not my aesthetic style. But if it was, the quality is there. And the light is actually pretty cool, you know? Um, I think I got a one, two, three, four. Yeah. The light is actually pretty cool. So 
you know, not much programmability, but it's got some brightness and all that jazz. So I will try to do a separate video on this because I'm going to want to add a beam shot footage. And I don't think I want to add that to this 40 minute video. Um, so let me know your thoughts on this stuff from G1. Check them out, g1.com. Use my link, use my code, Lefty10. Um, so yeah, this would actually be 30 bucks off. So you'd be paying uh, 270 for it. Not bad. So I love you guys. Thanks for checking the videos out. Thanks to G1 for sending this stuff my way. If you uh, have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic day. And uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.